Kind of warm to mild outside this evening with temperatures starting to see more 70s show up on the map. Still some low 80s, a little warmer if you're near the water. Lake Front Air Force at 87 degrees, but some upper 70s, low 80s, both sides of the lake. A sign of some changes starting to move in with a bit of drier air. Now, dew points still in the lower 70s, but the expectation is that we should see fairly widespread dew points into the 60s as we start into the morning and through the day tomorrow, Wednesday, and in the Thursday, although Thursday. Thursday going into Friday will be kind of another transition as the humidity does start to rise. But for a few days here, we will have a little bit more of a pleasant feel again. Considering it is mid August, it is comfortable, not exactly a fall like feel by any means, but when you lower that humidity, you get rid of the heat index. So heat indices we're now accustomed to in the triple digits. That's going away for a few days. 86 right now with a dew point of 72 still feels like 92 degrees, although we're pretty much acclimated to that right now. And this is the reason why we've got a deep upper trough that is bringing in drier air, clearing skies, a lot of sunshine really for mid August. This is about as nice as you could possibly get. Dew points dropping into the 60s, mostly sunny skies, really pretty for the next several days. This is why other parts of the country can enjoy the summer when you get rid of the humidity. And it does look like those dew points will be on the lower side for the next several days with kind of that moisture coming back in as we head toward the end of the week and weekend. Also toward the end of the week and weekend, the upper trough starts to lift away. A little piece of it, though, is going to get left over this little upper low is going to move our way and with that added instability and the increasing moisture that should be enough to help trigger a few more showers and thunderstorms around as we approach the weekend and continuing into next week. Wish we could kind of flip flop it here, get the rain and mugginess out of the way during the week and have a pretty weekend. But for the next couple of days, we'll have to take it because that's when the less humid air moves in and very pleasant weather for the rest or most of this week. I should say the 10 o'clock advisory. It is still a hurricane Ernest as it kind of clears Newfoundland, it will be coming extra tropical as it moves away. In other words, it no longer gets its energy from the warm ocean temperatures. It's more of an atmospheric process and then no longer a tropical system as it continues out into the North Atlantic where it will eventually dissipate. And the good news is as Ernesto comes to an end, looking wide scale on our model here through the end of the week and weekend, nothing really showing up. So the next seven days, should remain fairly quiet. It's kind of beyond that, that models have been sniffing out something trying to form toward the end of August, early September out in the main development region in the Atlantic. Not a big surprise as we're now getting toward the peak of the season. We would expect to see more activity develop out in the Atlantic Basin. But as of right now, even the long range models keeping us quiet. That's kind of going beyond 10 days. Let's hope that trend continues. 94 are high, but at least a little bit less humid. The mugginess and the uh, rain chance to start returning by this weekend.